Are you looking to upgrade your DDR3 motherboard with a new GPU? There are many options out there for you, but which one is the best option for you and your budget? Picking the best graphics card for your DDR3 motherboard can be a tough decision. There are many things to consider when deciding what GPU is right for you, including price, performance, size, and compatibility. Fortunately, this video will help you to find a good quality GPU. I'll leave the links to discussed GPU in the description, you can check them for the more information and the latest prices. Before starts the review here is a shout out to website hardwaredeets.com. If you're interested in building PC related stuff then you should check it out. Now let's start the video. The very first and best GPU I recommend you for DDR3 motherboard is NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 T. I the GTX 1660 Ti is a considerable option for those looking for a powerful yet DDR3 motherboard compatible card. It offers transcendent performance yet at a pricey rate. This NVIDIA GeForce graphic game card is based on the idea of upturning the ray tracing capabilities. The GPU is carved with a gray and black gunmetal exterior, perfect to compile customers at first glance. It features Turing shaders to give a power punch performance you never think of. This shading technology is powerful, efficient, and flexible. These features double up the cache count, making the gaming experience better than ever. The size of the GPU is compact to lower the power consumption rate and increase the transistor count. Whether you play games for 2 hours continuously or 10 hours with the Twin Frozer 7 thermal design, the GPU will keep the performance on track. This thermal protector keeps the interior cool despite the long hour performance. Moreover, the cooling fans are also not less than any. The fans are designed in a way that they produce no noise no matter what. The RGB light effects on the outside are the cherries on the top. For 1080p gaming, MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Super is a picture-perfect match. GeForce GTX 1660 does the same as the 1660 Ti in terms of memory. GeForce GTX 1660 features 32-bit memory controllers and a 192-bit bus with 6GB internal video memory capacity. Of course, the boost clock matters. The higher the clock speed, the higher the performance rate. GeForce GTX 1660 features 1830 MHz boost clock and 1750 MHz memory clock. The overall dimension of the GeForce GTX 1660 is 9.7 by 5 1.6 inches. At number 2 it's Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050Ti 4GB. Gigabyte has always been a champ when it comes to offering high-quality gaming video cards. This latest innovation by NVIDIA and Gigabyte offers improved efficiency and performance. If video gaming is your all-time enthusiasm and you want everything perfect for it, opt for the Gigabyte GeForce GTX graphic card. The architecture is advanced for high-end HD gaming. The inbuilt NVIDIA drivers are immersed in the games you play for dead-end performance. Ever heard about a customized cooling fan? The Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050T I graphic card has a custom cooling fan. The best point about this cooling fan is the optimized heat dispersal. The cooling fan makes sure the heat dispersal is maximum with low noise production. All thanks to the blades that cut the air outwards, keeping the graphic card cool. To boost the gaming experience, we all necessitate overclocking at some points. The ultimate reason behind the success of this gaming card is the flexibility to customize it the way you want. Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050T I graphic card can be optimized whether higher or lower clock speed. The optimizing is also pretty effortless. The mode this gaming card supports are user mode, silent mode, OC mode, gaming mode the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050T I graphic card supports an 8K display at 60Hz. The compatibility with DirectX 12 offers a smooth and improved gaming experience. Boost clock speed is 1430 MHz, perfect for long hour performance. About memory, that is 4 GB RAM. At number 3 it's Asus Cerberus GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, proceeding with the list of the best GPU for the DDR3 motherboard, here we are talking about Asus Cerberus GeForce GTX 1050 Ti gaming graphic card. 
This gaming graphic card is tested with well-known high-end gaming titles and comes out to be the best with all. For easy graphics update, Asus Cerberus GeForce GTX 1050T i has plug and play design. No PCIe power connection is required. The reason this graphic gaming card gets its name is because of its design. Not to mention Cerberus are guardian angels protecting us from the dangers. The exterior of Asus Cerberus GeForce GTX 1050T i is lined with a backplate with red striking as the symbol of Cerberus. Before stepping into the marketplace, Asus Cerberus GeForce GTX 1050T i tested with high-end games such as Overwatch and Unknown Battleground a hundred times. Even after long hours of operation, the graphic gaming card keeps the performance smooth and max. Summing up, this card is 15x more reliable than aftermarket gaming cards. Overheat production is the chief reason why high-end gaming cards dead out after a few months of use. You won't encounter the issue with Asus Cerberus GeForce GTX 1050 Ti GPU. IPX5 dual cooling fans are here to take care of the heat production. These fans offer 2x as significant airflow than ordinary cooling fans. The dust protective housing on the top enhances the lifespan. 4GB is the RAM size 128-bit memory interface with 1341 MHz boost clock speed of Asus Cerberus GeForce GTX 1050T i graphic card. The maximum screen resolution this card supports is 7 to 680 by 4320 pixels. At number 4 it's Asus GeForce GT710. Moving on, let us highlight the multitasking GeForce GT710 graphic card by Asus. This graphic card is a passive performer with its passive cooling fans. We all know passive cooling fans are always way better than ordinary ones. It means these cooling fans make sure the performance is dead silent with adequate heat dispersal. Yes, that's right, not only one, but you can connect up to three monitors at once with this GeForce GT710 graphics gaming card. This multitasking connectivity enhances performance mode from single to a group. As Asus promises, there is no compromise on the quality. GeForce GT710 has super alloy power to for, for reliable and durable performance. Not only the exterior all components of this graphic card are of super alloy power to. Hey, do you want overclock for improved performance? Get it done with Asus GeForce GT710. The graphic gaming card features GPU tweak too. This tweak makes overclocking effortless for all users. Besides that, using the feature, you can also improve the visuals. At number 5 it's EVG, a 1GB GeForce 8400. Talking about this graphic card, it offers striking features at an incredible value. The RAM size of this graphic card is 1GB with a 10-64-bit DDR3 and 128-bit floating point range. Yes, the RAM size is small, but the supported bit DDR3 is satisfactory. Besides that, the boost clock speed is 520 MHz. With an overall dimension of 11 by 1.5 by 7.5 inches and 9.5 pounds weight, EVG a 1GB GeForce 8400 is good to consider the graphic card. The cooling fan has small yet efficient blades to blow out heat instantly. The top-renowned games this graphic card is compatible with include GTA 5, Apex 5, and Fortnite. Remember, you need to play these games at low settings. Get ready for the experience you will relish with this graphic gaming card. For HD DVD viewing and Blu-ray PC movies, nothing can be better than EVG a 1GB GeForce 8400. Yet, it requires higher power to run smoothly. And with that I come to the end of our review. I hope this video helps you to find the right GPU for your DDR3 motherboard.